Dr. Emily says, should we require them to have an inspection if they are doing drywall? I'm yes. guessing this is for work for equity. Your contractor. Yeah, uh, Dr. Emily, definitely. Anytime you do a work for equity agreement with anyone, it should stipulate exactly the work that they are going to do and how much credit you are giving them. And they should send you pictures along the way. So what I do is just periodically send a text to our work for equity clients and just say, hey, I'm just checking in with you. How are things going? Can you send me some pictures? That's all I do. Can you send me some pictures? Because the pictures don't lie. <laughs> they either did it or they didn't do it. And if they didn't send me what I wanted, I say, can you send me a picture of that bathroom? And they go, uh, I'm not quite done yet. And I said, well, can you send me a picture of what you've done? Uh, well, maybe next week. <laughs> you know? yeah. So definitely over time, you just want to tap into that. Yes, Janice. I also like to go after they had finished their work for credit for pictures, the way I take pictures for the back of the website so that I will have updated pictures then, and for the future use or just to make sure that the website is updated. And I also enjoy listening to them tell me the problems they had, the fun they had, what they're going to do, and could they do something else because they've decided they want to do da 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 in some other room. And so we'll talk about that as well. Sometimes it's, well, I can give you permission to do it, but I can't give you credit for it. Yes. It's, it's kind of a fun visit. It is a fun visit, and they're very proud of what they've done, and you want to be just as proud, right? So if they have, you know, if they've not done a perfect job, well, if it's perfect in their eyes, it's perfect in my eyes. <laughs> and that means I'm not talking about anything that would be, um, that would be a hazard or something that they could get hurt because they didn't do it right. I'm not talking about that, but you know, if they were rolling the walls and they got the roller on the ceiling too. <laughs> they got some of that color on the ceiling too. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, if they're happy with it, I'm happy with it is my point. Okay. Can I interrupt there for just a second? I, I was kind of inquiring about what the city requires. So when they're doing certain types of work and normally the city does require inspection for the safety mm -hmm. of things. And so should I require that they have a city inspection or do you just allow them to do what they do and move forward with it from there? Well, I, what you're referring to is a thing called a permit. And right. it, so they would have to, they would have to apply for that permit and they would have to get the inspections done. And that would all be between them and the city if they got a permit. If oh, not, I see. If it's not going to be major electrical or major plumbing, uh, they most cities in the country allow homeowners to do their own work to their own house inside their own house. Uh, so if it's not something major like that, that would be a hazard like electrical or plumbing, then, um, you know, we don't require permits. We don't require them oh. to get a permit. But now the independent contractors contract so that we agreement. signed with them, requires the contractor is in charge of pulling a permit if it becomes necessary. And also another thing that we have started doing is that if it requires electrical work, plumbing work or HVAC work and they're electing to do that, I want them to be licensed and insured. And so just like any other contractor I'm working with, I wanna see the insurance and I wanna see their license and I'm making copies. Oh, okay, very good, thank you. Good point, Janice, thank you. 